we are on our way to meet the hugest celebrities that Norman, Oklahoma has to offer. I mean, like, this is a huge deal. I cannot convey to you guys what a big deal it is. It's such a big deal. I'm not allowed to tell you where it is. This is an undisclosed location. Our producer got top secret directions that we have to, like, I don't know, crypto burn afterwards or something. It's, I'm, I'm so excited, truly. Just, just wait. Just wait. I am here at the undisclosed location where the biggest celebrities, whoa, on the OU campus live. We're about to meet the ponies, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, 700. Okay, Tanya, this is a moment I've been waiting for. We're about to meet Boomer, right? And how old is she? 14. Oh my goodness. Hi, Boomer. Oh my goodness. You're a sweet girl. Yeah. Do you like being the star of the show? Do you know that you're a celebrity? Yeah, I bet that tastes good. It's got to be tough. You know, it's a huge amount of responsibility. Now, Boomer, how are you feeling about Saturday? Mm, I agree. Very insightful. Now, uh, can I get a score prediction from you? Oh, you don't think Nebraska's even going to get on the board? It's a... It's a true Oklahoma fan there. Um, can I pat you? Oh, hello. You got to rest up for your big day. She's so sweet. Oh, my goodness. You have anything else you want to add? Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're in high demand. All right, I'm here with the stars of the show, the drivers for Saturday's game. We've got John... Brendan, how long have you guys been doing this for? So this is actually my second year of driving. Yeah, this is my second year of driving as well. What is the process? How rigorous is the training to be someone who drives the Sooner Schooner? So uh, drivers uh, in general, we, we spend probably roughly three to four hours a week here at the farm, whether it's uh, single ground driving or double ground driving. And then uh, once a week, we'll go up to the field and we'll actually practice game day drives. And how did you become the stewards of these mascots, celebrities, Sooner and Boomer? So uh, before joining the club, I actually had some some background uh, with work with horses. And uh, that's honestly why I believe I was chosen. And um, freshmen who come, come into the club and we come to the farm and do our duties before game day, uh, we just sit back and evaluate how, how the guys and girls are with the, with the horses. And that's usually how we choose them. Think you could show me how we get Sooner ready for game day? Absolutely, yes, ma'am. Let's go do it. Wow, here she is. Hi, Sooner. Sooner, pleasure to meet you. Go right ahead. This is incredible. Okay, so when you bring them in from pasture, what's the next step, generally? Well, like, I typically will just give them a haircut. What's the goal? Like, what's the look you guys go for with these ponies? Um, really, it's just to make sure that their that their hair is going to be even cut, and uh, the area that she's cutting right now is where her bridle is going to be. Like that way, so none of her hair gets caught up during game day, and it's gonna, and we're, we're just making sure that uh, nothing's going to bother them. Boomer and Sooner, they're said together a lot, but they're the own individuals. What makes them different from each other? Yeah, so uh, we always refer to uh, them as a group of teenage girls. Uh, they give us a lot of sass. Um, uh, Sooner here, she's a little lazier, so uh, she doesn't like to work as much, and, and that really upsets Boomer, so she throws some attitude around and lets everybody know she's upset. Okay, so when she throws attitude around for a horse, what does that look like? Uh, yeah, so, so since Sooner's more laid back than Boomer, um, after Boomer gets tired of her nonsense, she'll either start trying to nip at her, or she'll start trying to uh, to buck. So it's actually pretty pretty interesting to, to be involved with, for sure. Yeah, it sounds very dramatic. You could do like a real, real horses of Oklahoma reality show. All right, so uh, Boomer's getting a bath. She seems to like it. Right now she does. Um, so a thing about pony washing is um, like Brendo, so Brendo over here, he's actually making sure that the water's gonna be nuke warm because obviously no pony likes uh, too hot of water or too cold of water. It has to be just right. Goldilocks over here. Uh, we've even had Baker Mayfield take a picture on the screen with the pony. So, I mean, we're, 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 we're pretty renowned on campus and throughout the sport world. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, these guys are probably more famous than Baker, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like even during the game, we'll have cheerleaders and just whoever else walk up and completely ignore us and they scream to the top of their lungs, oh my god, it's the ponies, and we're like, yeah, well, it's the Roughnecks and Little Sis, too, so how are you doing? Right, you're like, we're here, too, but uh, I guess... 
they walk right past us and just start uh, petting the ponies. I really feel like I'm in the presence of royalty. Like the, you see this on TV, you see this everywhere. It's kind of surreal to be this close up to it. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. All right, so take me through game day. We're in the tunnel. What are we doing? So uh, by, by this time, we're actually waiting on the team to score. Uh, and Because we run on touchdowns and field goals. Any, any type of score that OU puts on the board, that's, that, uh, that's our time to shine as drivers. So drivers on the right. Yes, ma'am. So we just scored. And, um, and so uh, they're, they're kicking the field goal, which is uh, – our, our time to you know to get ready for any final final second adjustments if we, if we need them and then Todd Grala who who is uh, Tanya's husband he's really the one that says okay let's you know it's time to go he'll get he'll give us a wave and then that's when we fly and so uh, usually if if the team scores um, on the north side of the field we have to wait for all the players to clear and then hopefully the referees get out of the way because some hopefully they don't. sometimes they don't and so um, yeah so uh, we take off and then uh, we, as drivers, usually like to um, to shoot for the 30 to 40 yard line before we start to make our turn. And so uh, we'll just stay in between the hash marks and the numbers, and then we make our turn. Uh, we make sure to make it wide and safe, and then we bring the ponies home. So that's so cool. Can you can you pretend like Sarah and Tanya here holding the reins or the ponies, and we're about to go? Can you say what you'd say? Do what you'd do? Absolutely. So uh, so for me personally, I like to get them get them pretty rowdy. So I'll be like. All right, ladies, come on, hip, 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 and then I, and then they, and they just start flying. And uh, usually, when we're when we're coming through the end zone, for me to start going to the field, I like to keep a, a more tight hand on the uh, on the right rein because they like to cut it pretty short. And so I'll keep them coming across straight uh, through the end zone, and then we'll turn a little bit. So I'll grab my left left rein and pull them a little bit. And then so once we started going up vertical on the field, again they want to they want to come home early because they don't like running too much. Um, I'll, I'll keep a pretty firm right hand, and so we'll go until I think we're good to go. And then that's when I'll slowly start to uh, let loose of my right hand and pull with my left hand. And then we'll make, we'll make a beautiful, excellent turn, and then, um, then we'll bring them home. So. What are you saying to them while you're doing these things? So uh, either I'm, I'm trying to get them uh, to, uh, to pick up speed, and then once I, once I think that we're good, um, I'll say good job, ladies, or good job, uh, girls, and re really just encourage them. And... Uh, yeah, and then, then we celebrate when we, once we get back. So This is so cool. John, you're a natural. They're not going to let you graduate. They're just going to keep making you do this forever. I'm not going to let myself graduate So, because I want to do this for the rest of my life. It's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much. This has been such a pleasure. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming out. I mean, come on. <laughs> you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How is this my job? Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.